Oh my god, Dragon Harpoon. Great way to start a video. Is that a point or is that a task to equip it? I guess not. Oh, do I ever love me a bloodthirsty thing? 88,000 Slayer experience. A ah, hard clue, I guess. Oh damn, we literally got like a back-to-back -back superior, which is insane. I'm hoping that this one will finally give us a unique... Probably not. Oh, 25 superior creatures and dragon knives. That's interesting. Is that a task? N no. Okay, well, we finally finished an elite clue. We had to get a camulet and everything like that, but let's just... Ooh. Oh, there we go. Complete one elite clue scroll. We got the ranger tights and a dragon cane. Damn, that is gaining unique from a, uh, a clue. So I figured I'd get the Shazian armor, and the good thing about this is I just got an 80-point task for filling 100 collection log slots because each one of these armor pieces is a brand new collection log, and there's five sets. Okay, that actually did kind of take a very long time, but I believe if we equip this armor, that is 40 points, but at least we got that other task as well. Alright, I think that was a perfect sword to be honest. Let's go ahead and hand this in. It looks good. 135k smithing. Damn. Okay, so we got a 100 quality sword for 40 points. Let's take a look at the shop quickly. So we have 900 more retribution. So we can just keep just buying all of these. And every time we buy more of them, we'll have better uh, odds of getting like more points so if we go to this he'll want us to make the broad spiked right so now we should have a lot more that can give us more points right like this one is going to be eight plus six amazing we'll go this one there's a plus 10 right there and where was this one plus 16 like okay okay so i just did a few games of soul wars to test out the water so we've got 255 of these um, I'm going to try and just buy all of the prayer experience that we can. So 21,000. So that 300k prayer we got there, not bad. Up to 68. Damn, I'm definitely going to do this like for 99. Okay, I completely forgot about this task. I believe you can just dig up some magic roots. You use these to make some uh, potions and stuff like that. But that is 80 points. We're going to get a two for one right here. We will go ahead and cast the Ice Blitz, which is a 80 point task. And then once we kill this freaking Greater Demon, we should get another little 10 pointer. Maybe? Yeah, okay. 10 points to defeat a Greater Demon on Karamja. Oh my god, we got Rune Limbs from Steel Dragons. Finally, it was so much easier doing them with the Ice Blitz spell. Okay, so now if we use the string on this rune crossbow, that should be 80 points. And this might be a 2 for 1 too. When we equip that rune crossbow, it should be even more points, 80. Okay, so I believe I completed the easy set of combat tasks. So if I click rewards, what does this guy do? This is just all of the league's rewards. Alright, so how do I claim my combat rewards? Okay, let's see. I've completed some combat achievements. Nice job. Thank you, my friend. I think we've probably only done the first set anyways. But can I teleport to the troll? Can you imagine? Nah, okay. <laughs> and uh, this lamp. I think I'm going to use it actually on mining. I think mining is probably going to be the hardest skill to get to 99. So let's just go ahead and use it right on mining. 80,000 mining experience, so we're up to 63 now. Okay, so our Slayer task is to get another fire cave, and I'm just testing out the rune crossbow at the fight caves right now, and it seems like it's pretty good. I am using runite bolts, though, but I'm just shredding these things. It's just insane. Oh, wave 62. I always get anxious. Okay, let's see how easy this Jad is. Okay, let's take him on, and that is a range attack. Okay, going good so far. Magic. Is he already healing? Can we kill him before the, uh, there's a healer already? There's a range. Let's kill the other healer. Oh, this is so easy, man. Why am I not hitting anything on Jad? 
Oh, there we go. This might be the easiest fire cape I've ever got. And, oh, range again. That could have been really bad. And see you later, buddy. 400,000 Slayer experience. And we get our fire cape back because I think I handed it in for a task. Oh my god, this task has literally taken forever. 80 points for catching 100 sharks. Wouldn't recommend it. So I've been AFKing fishing quite a bit. We're up to 87 now. We got a, just caught some more carambons to cook up. And now we have the requirement to fish sacred eels for Zalra scales. Not that we'll ever need that, but I believe it is a task to catch one. Why do we still have the COVID mask on? Oh, wait, did we need to use a knife on it as well or something like that to get the task? What? I'm fucking confused. Oh, I think we need to catch 50. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I missed it. That was a 200 point task. Let's go. And a cook 100 sharks is 80 points. We definitely burned a lot though. Now, I'm not sure if this was worth it because I'm doing it off task, which might be kind of a waste of time, but I wanted to get the task out of the way for making a bunch of the blue dragon hide bodies. Also gained a little bit of prayer experience here as well, and we're up to 97 range. Damn, these are uh, decent crafting experience, but I believe if we equip this, that should also be a task for 40 points. Okay, this should be it once we craft a couple more of these bodies right here. 3k each, that's just insane to me. But there we go, craft 30 blue high dragon bodies is 80 points. So what I've been doing is basically fletching while doing clue scrolls just to save some time in between running and stuff like that. It helps a lot. So a massive regret that I have is not choosing the treasure seeker relic, instead I've chose the bloodthirsty for slayer, but I'm having a ton of fun doing the clue scrolls this league, and that would have made it even more fun, more easy, I would have got a lot more items, and now I'm really motivated to do clue scrolls, even like beginners when I get back to my Iron Man. Alright, so we actually made it up to 78 fletching, and after we talk to Shanty here, this should be the last step of fuck. All right, time to have a nice opening. We've got 13 beginners. Let's just go. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, we've already got that, I believe. Nothing. Uh, that is definitely new. The monk's robe T. Nice. Nothing. Nothing. Zamorak one. Nothing. Oh, that is freaking awful. So the other night I was doing a bit of the Templarist boss. We've only got 14 rewards to fish out, but there's a chance we could get, say, the fish barrel, which I believe is some points in here. Casket's always nice, but we'll probably just get some raw food. Yeah, nothing there. Let's open up the casket. Okay. Well, there we go. We just hit 80 fletching, and that means we can make a magic short bow now, which is very nice. And once we string this together, that will be 80 points. God damn, I didn't even know these were a thing. These massive ancient wyverns. I, I've always killed like the other ones, the ones over here usually, but I'm uh, wondering um, if I should be killing these on the main game. wonder what they drop instead, but I believe it is a task. God damn it, I didn't think I brought food there for a second. But yeah, that's uh, just 40 points. I also believe this should be a point, f uh, a task anyways, for a magic birdhouse, which is 80 points. Alright, we grew our dwarf weeds, and now this should be cleaning 100 of them for 80 points. All these ranging potions are going to come in super handy, but now that is another 80 points just to make 20 of them. So, I've been making these Zamorak wines with the grapes that I got. Let's see the cooking drop. I only made like 100 or something like that. 350,000 cooking experience. Probably the way I'll get to 99. I totally forgot about the grand exchange here. I can decant my potions into four doses. I'm kind of curious how much experience this gives for Herblore. Yeah, I didn't think it would give too much, but we can make the divine uh, ranging potions now. And I believe if I make 100, it will be a task. And 200 point task for making 100 divine ranging potions. These will be super useful. 
Oh my god, Skatizo is a literal joke now. We haven't even gotten the portals to come in yet. And he's already dead, I think. Yeah? Yep. Oh my good god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're gonna die. And 200 points for a taming a boss pet. What? We got the Skatizo pet. Jesus. Damn, that's a new collection log slot. Let's go. Damn, we got a pet on the leagues forever now. And this should be another kill down. This one was a little rougher just because I was running around like an idiot pretty much. But, uh, oh, never mind. Let's go one more hit and dead. See if we can get another pet or something. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, he takes forever to die and these minions are so annoying. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we get. Onyx Bolt tips. Oh, these hard clues are going to be so nice. Jesus, I can just sit here and kill the guy before anything spawns. This is freaking insane. Um, this is going to be some good alcables, some good construction experience, and a bunch of other good stuff, obviously, as well. But, oh, mahogany planks. And are they even going to come close to me? And, <laughs> no. 80 points for killing 10 Skatizos. And let's see if we get anything for the loot. Nothing. Jeez, look at these in sold heads experience drop 16,000 prayer from a blood build. I should have been picking these up. So I'm kind of curious because I have the farming relic. Am I able to use the resurrect crop? Uh, only works. Okay, it did work anyways. Cast the resurrect crop is 40 points. Reaching combat 100 is 80 points. We're going for 90 slayer boys. As much as I wish I picked the treasure seeker relic, uh, the bloodthirsty one is just so much fun, man. So many superiors spawning all of the time. So what I'm going to do now is keep uh, getting slayer tasks and then obviously just canceling them until I get an abyssal demon task because there is a, a lot of tasks that I can get. There's one for killing an abyssal demon. There's one for killing an, a boss. There's one for equipping a whip. I need to get it. Okay, we actually got red dragons as a slayer task, and I will quickly do it. It's only 31, and I need to do the achieve or the uh, task where you craft the full red dragon hide armor, so I'll just quickly knock this out. Oh my god, how perfect is that? Okay, so now I can craft a leather or a red leather chops, a red leather van braces, and a red leather body. And once I equip all of these, that should be a 40 point task. So the star tracker on the uh, whatever it's called, the old school Rinsky portal, shows the shooting or the crash stars even on League's World. So I believe if we start mining this, it will be an 80 point task let's oh my good god this is such good afk mining experience too hopefully okay i think we're strong enough now hopefully to take on zulcano and get our first kc let's hopefully get it yeah there we go 80 points to defeat zulcano not too bad and 80 points for 200 soft clay mined in Tarwin. This is great. Mine 50 adamant ore is 80 points. 200 points for an abyssal demon kill. Oh my god, already we got an abyssal whip. And I believe we can equip that for another 200 point task. And we have an abyssal demon bloodthirsty guy. Yeah. Hope 200 points for reaching level 99 range. We can put this on long accuracy now and uh, train some defense. Damn, equip an ornament kit item is 80 points. That actually looks pretty cool. Not on task currently, but I found that there was a task to kill a dark beast in Tarowin, and it should be over now. Um, I think it's 80 points. Let's go. So I'm just doing this uh, Dust Devils task because I was thinking I can get some Mithril Bars for some tasks. And I just got a Dust Battle Staff as a drop, which is 80 points. That's very beautiful. Oh, and there's another a task for equipping a Combination Battle Staff or Mystic Staff. Another 80 points. Oh, and a Choke Devil. Beautiful. 
Wait, no way. We just got black uh, dehyde van braces as a drop from that choke devil. I'll pick up the, the money. And I'm pretty sure now if we go to the bank, we can equip the full black um, outfit. And that should also be some more points. So let's just uh, snatch that right out of the bank right here. And yeah, 80 points. Okay, we got a five brimstone keys. Let's see if we get anything interesting. Dragon cheeses. 150k is pretty good. Some iron ore. Some raw sharks is great. Ooh, dragon dart tips. I believe that's a task. And we just killed a drake, which should be a 40 point task. Magic potions are actually pretty good herb lore XP, so I'll probably be making like a decent amount of these for the 99 herb lore. But anyways, making 20 magic potions is an 80 point task. Okay, this is our first really big sword with adamant and mithril. So let's go ahead and hand this in and we'll see the experience drop 250,000 experience. And there is a 150 quality sword for 80 points. So now we've got 80 smithing and also 80 crafting. So we should have access to this singing bowl right now, which I've been waiting forever to do this. Um, looks like we can make an eternal uh, crystal teleport seed. That's 80,000 experience in smithing and in crafting. And that's an 80 point task. And now we can be able to teleport to this place as many times as we need. I'm also going to make two of these keys, uh, which gives a little bit of XP as well. Okay, so we can go and open up this elven chest. We do have two of the keys now, so let's see what we get. And that is an 80-point task. Did we actually just get a dragonstone? Oh, and 42k cash as well, and some of the things. Okay, let's go for a next one here. And another dragonstone and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, well. And 80-point task to craft a dragonstone amulet, which we can make into a glory. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. So yeah, in the next video, we're going to be unlocking our full power and unlocking the next relic. I'm super excited to get tier 8. I haven't had much time to actually play the game in the past couple of days, so it's been a little bit longer to get this video out. But we are still having an absolute blast on the leagues, just having so much fun, progressing so much. And yeah, I think I probably will max on this league. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll We'll catch you in the next one. See ya later.